lighting's terrible. Sorry. We're walking back from Halloween Horror Nights to our hotel, the walkway. I just wanted to give my thoughts and feelings because I know as soon as I hit the room, I'm going to go to bed. It's midnight. We did not make it till 2 a.m. But honestly, I never planned till 2 a.m. because I thought it closed at midnight. But it actually closes at 2 a.m. Um, so there's 10 haunted houses. We did five of them. And I don't know how someone could actually do all 10 unless they bought the express pass which is like $90 a person extra is not gonna do that um, I loved all the I loved all the haunted houses we did we did stranger things first that had the longest line and then poltergeist was awesome and then we did the scary fairy tales which was scary and then what do we do after that what do we do after that Halloween 
Halloween. Oh my God, that was so, so scary. And then we ended with Trick or Treat. So out of all of them, Stranger Things was definitely the best. And then Poltergeist was my second favorite. So we took Haley and Abby and Haley and Abby are 13 and 11. And there is like, um, what is it? Parental advisory, no one, or like this is 13 and up. But um, actually the 11 year old was less scared than the 13 year old. I think they did excellent. I don't think it was an issue. Um, I'll, but I'll definitely, I probably out of the whole park saw what? Five other kids their age? Yeah, yeah. There was no kids. There was no kids. It was all adults. Which, um, you know, I knew that. I knew that Halloween Horror Nights is geared towards the adults. But Haley was obsessed with Stranger Things, so that's why we came. I don't regret it. I think she doesn't regret it. Her parents don't regret it. You know, honestly, it's just, it's the parents' decisions, what they think their kids can handle. And I think Haley and Abby did an excellent job of handling it. Um, <clears throat> I have to say, I loved it. Um, overall, I wasn't impressed with the Universal Parks, but actually the Halloween Horror Nights I loved. So I wouldn't come back necessarily to go to Universal Park, but I would come back for Halloween Horror Nights. Does that make sense? Um, I liked Universal, it was fun, but there is not any ride that I would do over and over again. Like Disney, I can ride the Haunted Mansion over and over again. I can ride Pirates of the Caribbean over and over again. I cannot think of one Universal ride that I want to ride again. Well, maybe Jurassic. Jurassic Park, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> um, could you hold this cup, honey? So, I gotta switch arms, that arm's getting tired. Okay, give it back. And then, um, I don't know, I think I just went off on, okay, this is a review about Halloween Horror Nights. I loved it, I loved it. And I've done Disney's Halloween parties. I've done it last year, I've done it, we've done probably like 15 of those Disney Halloween parties. And I do enjoy them, this is completely different. Completely different. And it's definitely made me love haunted houses. I am gonna actually give Six Flags Haunted Houses a chance when we get back because I've never done them. You have to pay extra at Six Flags. Here, it's all part of the ticket price. But I had so much fun. But I don't know if it was the girls too, because like, we had like a, you have to do single file. So it was Bob, and then Abby, and then me, and then Haley, <laughs> and then Holly and, and Buddy. And like, like, they just wouldn't let go of us. It was adorable, I loved it. So I'm pretty sure half the fun was doing it with the nieces, but still, I loved it. It was definitely scary. I definitely, can you hear my voice is kind of hoarse? I screamed like crazy. Is that a boat going by? So anyway, I think this is enough rambling. I give Halloween Horror Nights a, a plus, 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 plus. And I will definitely do it again. Just depends on the theming. This year I loved it because it was all 80s stuff. So hold on. All right, I'm back. I had to pause it because that boat was playing music and I don't want to get a copyright strike. So anyway, um, what Robert was saying while we were walking was that, you know, like each haunted house is like you're walking through a movie. I mean, they, you know, of course they went all out. They had the best props. They had the best actors. It was walking through a movie. It was awesome. Um, it was well, well worth it. And I was talking about like this year, it was like, you know, I love Poltergeist. That's an 80s movie. I love, trick well, I don't like Trick or Treat, but I've seen it. That's an 80s movie. Halloween started like, I actually think it started in the 70s, but a lot of them were in the 80s. So, you know, the five that we did, I absolutely loved. And the other five that we didn't do, I was okay with that because none of those themes I recognized or cared about. So we did the five that we wanted. And I don't know, I'm rambling again. I will definitely do Halloween Horror Nights depending on what the theme is next year. I'm not gonna do it if it's like all purge. No, thank you, I'm not into that movie. But if they have some other good themed, I would I would fly down here just for that. I would. And then I would definitely come back for a Disney Halloween party. We just didn't do it this year because we went last year and I wanted a break. Because I don't wanna you'd get to a point where you do Disney so much that you get bored and numb with it. So we want we wanted to take a Disney break. So when we go start going to Disney next year next year again, it'll be fresh on our minds and like not fresh on our minds new on our minds because it would have been a while so but anyway Universal was a good choice I loved it and it was a great hanging out with the girls we still have one more day tomorrow we're gonna hang out with them 
um, and explore more Harry Potter. So anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry for the terrible lighting, but I am walking at a path at midnight. <laughs> but I basically just wanted to talk. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you later.